RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification Tag. These are used in all kinds of equipment. Uh, for example on the screen here you can see them in the use of car keys. Um, so used for unlocking car doors, or locking car doors. Uh, there's also a picture here from Disney World in Florida uh, where RFID has been used for wristbands and this allows then the user entrance into the parks. RFIDs are used around college uh, with staff members having an ID card around their neck and when they put that ID card near a door if they have access to that room they're allowed in. You may have heard of contactless payment where with a debit card or a credit card you don't hash actually have to put the card in the card machine. Instead you can go near and within a short range um, and you can make payment for goods. Okay, so what is RFID? Well, we said radio frequency identification tag is what it stands for and this is what one looks like. The actual main tag itself is this little tiny chip here. We can say that is called the transponder. The big part of this goes in a ring like this. This is the antenna. Now this RFID tag transponder and antenna is taken from a sticker that they may stick onto a product that is used in a store for instance. When you walk out of a shop if you've not paid for the goods or the tags not been deactivated the sensor in the shop the alarm will sound. So the RFID tags are attached to products or inside something for example inside our ID, bar, ID badges, inside car keys or attached to for instance a DVD or a Blu-ray. You have an RFID reader this is a scanner and the reader transmits a signal. The signal activates the RFID transponder. So we can see here on this diagram you've got a reader this is plugged into a computer or a device and this may have some kind of software the reader is always sending out a signal always sending out radio waves as soon as a tag or a transponder comes within range the radio waves that are sent out power the tag so they, they cause <coughs> a current to occur Here's another diagram. Again, the antenna, in this case it's called, which is the reader, the antenna of the reader, sends out radio wave signal. The transponder receives the radio waves. It induces an electrical current and it sends the response back to the reader via radio waves. So the RFID tag transponder sends data by radio waves back to the reader. The key point to remember there is that it's the radio waves that come from the reader that induce the electrical current in the tag. Positive point, no physical connection is needed between the tag and the reader. The tag must be near to the reader however. And there is an example of contactless payment.